The first thing you want to do is go to the VMware website, www.vmware.com. They have tons of products on here, um, great products. So we're going to go ahead and click on the download links. It'll list all the commercial products as well as the free products they have. They do have a nice range of free products that are actually really, really great products to use, um, to learn, or if you have a small environment, they're great products to put in your data center. So one of the products is Workstation Yay. Player which is what I'm using today. They also have professional version. So this is free for uh, non-commercial and personal home use. So if you're a developer at home, um, learning, if you're a student, this is great. If you're in education, go ahead and use this in your classroom. It's really, really great for students as well. So if there's anyone trying to learn something, I always point them to set up a virtual environment at home. And this is great product. So there's also... Uh, this is similar to um, Oracle VirtualBox, but I will say that this is a much better product to use if you're doing anything with the VMware products. So I like setting up their hypervisor, their ESXi hypervisor. Definitely use this product over the Oracle VirtualBox product. Um, there is also a commercial version of this product, Workstation. So if you want to use this in a um, corporate environment or if you work for a developer, you want to have virtualization at your desktop at that company, then you, I believe you have to pay for the commercial product. So we can go ahead and do the installation, pretty basic installation. It does require some drivers. So does the mouse capture, product updates, where to put your icons, nothing too complicated here. I, it's probably a good measure to restart. It probably works without restarting, but I would recommend restarting um, your computer after you do this installation. And once you're done with that, you go ahead and start using the product. So it has lots of great features in here. Um, very similar to if you use any sort of desktop virtualization or any that kind of um, type two hypervisor type environment. It has tons of great features in here for installing different operating systems and having full support. So it supports all the Windows and Linux and distributions they can use. So we'll go ahead, it recommends a restart. So once you restart it, you will have the icon on your desktop or in your start menu. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It will run the uh, VMware Workstation Player for us. So when I ran um, any of the VMware products, either the hypervisor or virtual center server, I felt like I got much better performance. Um, and I was able to run a lot more type ESXi hypervisors in parallel with this product over Oracle VirtualBox. So definitely try this product since I work with a lot of VMware products. So let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. We can click on player and then file gives you a few options here. You can also download a virtual appliance, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So we can go ahead and click on create a new virtual machine. You can point it, point it to CD drive or DVD drive that might have a CD installed, but more likely than not, you guys are going to have ISO. So I had a Fedora ISO I recently downloaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and point it to that. Uh, I believe it's for Dora 25. So you can provide it your name, your um, and your username and password. So it kind of will help you do part of the Fedora installation. It does have some intelligence of how to do there's certain Linux distributions. Um, you can go ahead and do it that way, or you can just type it in yourself as well. So it will set this for the root password for the user you're specifying as well as the account that you're creating. So we'll go ahead and type in some information here for that. And then it's gonna give it a virtual machine name. This is not your host name, it's just how to store your files. You can give it a um, disk size. So I'm gonna say 20 gigs. It will store it in multiple files. This is so you can easily move it around. You could also store it in a single large file. And it'll go ahead and give you your summary. Now, it does have a few different hardware configurations. Some of the more interesting ones would be the network card. So depending on what you're kind of testing, if you want to have it on your home network, you can set it up as a bridge or put a NAT or a host-only network. So it does have a good um, networking option that you could tap into to um, um, configure different networking options. So if you do any sort of client-server testing, beta testing, you might want to set up your networking slightly differently. So I always try to do that. Um, and then you can go ahead and add more devices, CD drives, um, USB drives, parallel ports, printer ports. So, so once you select your hardware detail, you go ahead and hit next. 
and I'll go ahead and, and create your virtual machine. To next, detecting your drive. Um, if you want to, you could always use this with some of their other VMware products that offer um, sort of virtual desktop infrastructure type environment. So what's nice about the VMware products is a lot of them will work together. So they're very com um, compatible. They're virtual machines you can figure in one location. So once you're done, you go ahead and finish and we'll create our virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and do a Fedora installation so you can just take a look at the basic steps. Since I did point it to the ISO, once you turn it on, it will automatically try to boot off that um, ISO. Also, since you notice here, it's asking me if I want to download some Linux tools. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Um, it just has some software packages to interact with the Linux operating system. It's a little bit better, probably some drivers. So once it's downloading that, I could also be doing my Linux Fedora installation in the background while it's downloading. So I started my install, and it'll be a traditional, if you're done a Fedora install, it'll be a traditional Fedora installation. But if you notice here, it actually kind of will skip through some of the questions. Um, it will try to help configure your installation. So it's actually a little bit faster um, than if you did a traditional Fedora installation without using this product. The last thing I wanted to mention was the VMware Solution Exchange, which is a great place to get virtual appliance uh, for any of the VMware hypervisors. So this will run on your player, VMware Workstation player, but it will also work on like an ESXi or ESX vSpear hypervisor. So depending on where you want to run it, so this is a great place to come and download pre-configured appliances. So it can be something as simple as um, downloading an operating system. You get Ubuntu on here or you get like actual tools. So you could download a pre-configured server appliance such as Nagios for monitoring servers. So there's tons of stuff on here. So it's kind of fun to just come in here and take a look and you actually can learn, um, learn about tons of different stuff in here about different appliances. And if you want to test out one of these products before buying it, um, you probably can get a demo on here. So this is a great place to go just to see what's going on. So if you have some time, check it out, solutionexchange.vmware.com. And yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.